What do you think their ceiling is, Dero? And listen, we got a month left of the regular season, and who knows? With him on the mound. Yeah, I mean, what, what is the they're ceiling? They're incredible. They'll piece it together. Alzale closing the door. They've, they've, David Ross has done an amazing job with this ball club. Mm -hmm. But you can tell. They play as a unit. Their offense is flowing right now. Nico Horner, Dansby Swanson has numbers against Corbin Burns. Two more knocks last night. But real quick, before I dive into this deep dive and kind of take you through some of the things I noticed, because I was fixated on this game. Justin Steele is a problem. We knew Corbin Burns. Balls exploding all over the place. Justin Steele could pretty much tell you what he's throwing. And you don't know if it's going to dive, cut, sink. Jan Gomes was having trouble catching him. But the one thing I want to say, there's so many unbelievable venues in our sport. But when the Cubbies on a beautiful night in Chicago yeah. win a ball game, and they start singing that song. And I get goosebumps. And they Thank start you. panning the crowd. And there's all, yeah. not to get, like, all emotional, but it, 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 it's crazy to me to see all different colors, races, religions, all singing Co Cubs Go, and it's like so beautiful. They should just play that like everywhere. <laughs> it's on, it like, really is like in the grocery store, in the and I'm talking about play it all just over the country. Play it. Park. All over the world. <laughs> You're play I mean, because I'm not even a Cubs fan. And when, when I hear that, I'm like, go Cubs, go. I mean, it, it puts a little pep in your step. Yeah, it, it does. And it was the best two years of my career. And, and you don't take it for granted when you're going through the line and they're playing it. So I want to give love to the, to the Wrigley faithful out there. And I want to dive in on this game. And we haven't done this open in a while. So All right, Luke, hit it. Lucas, hit it. You know what? We made that open a couple of years ago. We got to redo that because there are sharks. There is way more movement in the water than ever if you look at social media. Mm -hmm. And I believe my arms and back are a smidge bigger <laughs> okay. than they were in that. All right. But smidge is important. All right. I want to get into this pitching matchup. This was a pitcher's duel for the ages. Both went north of 108 pitches, which never happened. So I want to focus on both of them and why they're so explosive. OK, Willie Adamas has been swinging a hot bat, but Justin Steele has the ability. Watch that. Run that back and watch where that ball hits off his bat. Now you talk about getting jammed and just leave it there. Pause. Wow. Justin Steele's four seamer has so much cut to it that we talk about this all the time. It's the ability to make 17 inches play 20 and taking a good offense right now. They've been swinging a hot bat. And you almost get these guys in swing mode where they feel like they got to get quick in. And then if he backdoors them, we'll get into Willie Adamas' second at bat. Keep it running. You have no chance. Jan Gomes, like I said, was having trouble catching balls. And you can miss middle. Look at that. Jan Gomes, yard sale. And I'm going to get into him because he had an amazing game as well. But when you can establish as a left-hander the ability to pound righties in, you can miss over the heart of the plate. And guys don't square you up. Take me to his next at bat. You think he's sitting something else? You think he's sitting in on a heater and trying to get him out of there? 1-1 one, one count. Nasty slider right there. Watch this four-seam execution down and away. Look at the swing. I mean, totally baffled. He was awesome all night. And he's got this hybrid windup where he works super quick. He never allows you to get in a rhythm at the plate. Run that pitch back for me real quick. Watch where this pitch is. This is good six inches off the inside, and he's pot committed to it. He has taken the plate, and you don't know where it is anymore. And he was dominant. And like you said, he was tough. He took a liner. He threw 30 pitches in the first inning. You didn't know if he was going to get through five, and he grinded it out. And this guy's just an absolute beast. Some of the A-Bs, the, the splits, he dominates left-handers with his cutter. And I want to get into a few at-bats for him because this was a huge moment in the game. Base is loaded in the fifth. Cutter away. Throw it again. Cutter away. Pause this. So what's Nico Horner saying to himself? That pitch that's starting off is staying off the plate. I got to be committed to if it starts in that window, I'm going to take it. What does Corbin Burns do? He doesn't cut it. Four-seamer bullet down and away. Strike two. Now I got you on the defensive. 
You get a curveball that probably was hanging in the middle of the plate, but he hits it off the end of the bat. Double play. Like I said, his ability to throw the cutter in on left-handed hitters, Jimer Condelario, all night. Change up away, but I can get in with my cutter whenever I want to, right there. Again, that ball six inches off. Change up away. I'm going to do it to you all night. I'm going to put you in that proverbial rocking chair. I'm going to go in, out, up, down, and there's nothing you can do. Just dicing these hitters up. It was an awesome display from two of the best pitchers in the National League. Now I want to get into Cody Bellinger. Hats off to him. Let's get into it real quick. This game ended up being one nothing. Cubbies need to sign this guy. We're going to do a little rip right here. Give him some love. Bring up the first board on Cody Bellinger. Look at where he stands since June 21st, uh, 24th MLB ranks. Average 365 second in the game. Ribby's third slug ninth. Doesn't punch out anymore. We'll get into an at bat. He does not like to hit outside. That's what I noticed in WBC. A lot of these guys do a lot of their work underneath. They don't want to hit 50 mile an hour BP balls and just shoot them over the park and not and feel good about himself, but they're getting nothing accomplished. So a lot of their work's done underneath now. But they showed this in the fourth inning. Kind of a drill he was doing, wanting to stay through the baseball. And I thought it was really cool. He had the short bat out. Kind of just working gap to gap, staying through the middle of the field, not pulling off. And it ended up working for him in a big at bat early in this game. And you never know what's going to be the ribby that gets it going. Right there, it doesn't seem like much, right? But just play the game with two strikes. Play the game. Put the ball in play. Strikeouts are bad. They're bad. I don't care. Every time, the strikeouts are bad. Show me what he hits with two strikes this year. Check this out. He's hitting 294 with almost an 800 OPS, second highest average and fourth highest OPS in 2023. So who knew at one nothing that game was going to come down to him grounding out to second base. But Justin Steele was on top of his game. So just I love watching him play. This is awesome. Quiet it down. Head doesn't move. I'm just going to play Pepper ground out to second. And then talk about playing the game. There was two guys last night, Bryce Terang and Jan Gomes. Let's get into it. Bryce Terang can flat pick it at second base for the Brew Crew. Okay? Backhand up the middle going towards shortstop. Mike Tockman running. He's been doing this all year. Just a gorgeous play at second base. In Wrigley, feeling yourself. What a moment. Now give me the bullet from Cody Bellinger. Watch this. Boom. Take the out at second. No rush. We're not turning two in that situation. Just get the lead runner. Nice and smooth. Really good. Bring up his board. Defensive run save. Andres Jimenez of the Guardians. Simeon, Kim. There's Bryce Terang. Fourth in the game. DRS at second base. Wanted to give him some love. All right, keep it going. Nico Horner's on there as well. And then he threw out a little bullet the other way. I know offensively, He's been a little challenged. His first homer in the big leagues was a grand slam, but pretty cool moment right there. Pause this. Jan Gomes has been great for the Cubbies. Classic hit and run. Fifth inning, run it. Get the front foot down, Morell's going. Boom, I'm playing Pepper to second base. First and third, here we go. That's David Ross knowing he can get it done. Look at his teammates fired up for him. You see like six hit and runs the entire year. And when it ex executed, it's a beautiful thing. And then the eighth inning, everyone in the stadium knew Christian Yelich was going to try and steal second. One nothing game. Mm. You talk about making a play. Boom. Replacing that back foot. Shot to Nico wow. Horner. So just a great game. One nothing. Just a great game. We see so much offense in today's game with the homers and punch outs. It was nice to see a pitcher's duel. We are heavy. 